Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Welcome back, welcome back. Um, this is a nursing video that I'm gonna kind of touch on, more so focusing on the piercing view trick. <sighs> Who has been a struggle? I am currently on day one. I took my NCLEX yesterday, April 27th. Today is April 28th. Um, I did the piercing view trick twice once yesterday and then I did it earlier this morning and I got the good pop-up both times um so I'm definitely excited about that I cried uh I literally came home after the NCLEX yesterday and I honestly I had told myself that I wasn't gonna do it because this is my second time taking the NCLEX so the first time when I took it I came home and was just kind of sitting in my car and I did the piercing view trick and then I had got the bad pop up. I was still kind of being hopeful because I'm like some people or people have said in the past that even if you do get the bad pop up, you can still pass the NCLEX. But then most of the time, like 70, 80 percent, you probably fail. So that happened the first time. So yesterday I had came inside was taking a deep breath and I was telling myself that I wasn't gonna do it, but knowing me, I'm impatient. People who know me know I'm impatient, so I don't know why I told myself that I wasn't gonna do it. <laughs> so, did my piercing view or logged in to re register and all that. And I remember I had clicked submit and I like got up, it was just like walking around my apartment. And I finally came back to my computer, and again, this is what came up. <laughs> It was like our records indicate that you cannot, you know, register for another exam and da, 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 da. so I was just like, I literally started crying because if only y'all knew the journey and just having the feeling of like, you, it's, it's you like you don't know, you don't know what's gonna happen. Um, and plus with me failing before, it was like I I don't have the energy to to get in the mindset of studying. Like I'm overstudying. Like I'm ready to start working. I'm ready to be in my career. I already have a job lined up. Um, I start work next week Monday. So I told them that I had my exam on the 27th, and they actually pushed back my start date. I was originally supposed to start March 22nd, but um, yeah, I didn't pass the NCLEX the first time. So. Thank God my job was like, it's okay. Um, just tell us your new exam date and we'll push it back for you. So now my new start date is May 3rd. So I'm excited about that. But yeah, I'm just currently waiting for my results, y'all. <laughs> I'm waiting for my quick results. I'm waiting to see my name on the um, board of nursing. It's weird because the first time um, I took my exam at like eight in the morning and that following day at 8 a.m. I got an email right away like yo you didn't pass got my um CPR report and yeah that's just kind of how it happened so this time around and because I went to the same testing site this time around I took my exam at 12 30 finished at around like 3 40 ish 3 47 and yeah today I would have thought I would have got an email at 12 12 30 24 hours later and I did not. So I'm like, dang, are they really gonna have me wait until Thursday, which is tomorrow? So y'all, I was not able to sleep last night. I was not able to sleep today. I probably slept all of maybe three hours total since me taking my exam up until today. Probably not gonna sleep tonight because I just, I just need to know, I just need to know. Although people have said that the good pop-up is good, it's like 99% accurate. Me, I need confirmation. Like I needed to show that I passed. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, I actually did vlog my first time around um, with taking the NCLEX, but obviously I didn't put it up because I was just kind of in my own head and was just like annoyed with myself. Um, but we back and we better now. I'm in a clear head space. I'm excited, I'm happy. And I'm gonna claim that I am a registered nurse because that's that's what it's gonna have to be, okay? Um, so yeah, that's my experience right now. Um, yeah, I don't know if I told you, or I don't know if I mentioned it, but I did call my mom yesterday, like after I was crying, she picked up the phone and she was like, 
you know, it's so crazy that you finished your exam at 347 because I literally prayed because I didn't tell nobody, y'all. I didn't tell nobody when I was taking my exam the second time around. Nobody, not my mama, my dad, my brothers, my sisters, my close friends. Nobody knew except for me. So when I called her, I was like crying because I had just did the piercing view trick. And um, yeah, she was just like, she was happy. She was like, it's crazy that you finished your exam at 347 because although I didn't know when you were taking it, something came, like the spirit came over her and she said she started praying at like 350. She was like, she had was doing some running around or was like relaxing at home or something like that. Um, and she like looked at the time and she just like started praying. So I'm just like, yo, that's wild. I just feel like that was like a confirmation of like the end all of my nursing school in Clegg's journey. Um, so I'm excited. I feel good. I'm just waiting currently, waiting for the unofficial results. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at right now. So as far as doing the Pearson View trick, I have a screen recording here that um, pretty much shows you, you go to the pearsonview.com slash NCLEX website, Pearson View, where you signed up to register for your NCLEX. You're gonna sign in, um, and you're gonna click on the new registration process. It's gonna take you to a screen where you, um, like either are you from the United States or in Canada? So you're gonna, for me, it was the United States. And then after that, you are going to click whatever exam you took, whether that was the RN or the PN. For me, that was the NCLEX RN. And then the next screen is just gonna show you that, that it costs $200. You're gonna click next. Um, have you ever taken the NCLEX exam before? Yes. Have you ever taken it? NCLEX exam to qualify for the same license, yes. And have you ever taken an NCLEX exam to qualify for a different license for me? No. Um, then you're gonna put the country, your state, and the city of where your school, nursing school, was located at. After that, you just kind of scroll down and you put in when you graduated. For me, it was December 2020. And then you can put in your nurse regulatory body. For me, it is Wisconsin. And then once you hit next, um, it will bring you to the screen to put in your card information. And once you do that, you click next, submit order, and it should pop up, either the good pop up or the bad pop up. And for me, it was the good pop up. So again, I'm just currently waiting until I get my unofficial results at this point. So I'm about to FaceTime my mom on my laptop. Oh my God. <sighs> okay, can you hear me? <laughs> click next is it gonna come up i don't know <laughs> Whew, okay i'm about to click next <laughs> i'm scared i don't know girl you done passed come on now oh wait Celebrate. oh i gotta i gotta click submit <laughs> Payment fields have been cleared. It's telling me I'm putting in the wrong information. All right, here we 
go. Submit order. <laughs> oh, I wish you could just see it for me. I'm scared. Yeah! But can y'all see? I'm gonna have to flip the camera when I do my um, we'll call it. But this is my mom, y'all. <laughs> I was screen recording you, dear. Oh, you were. <laughs> <laughs>